This is a video reply to the Cinefiles video Why We Hate Julia Roberts. Um, if you don't know what the Cinefiles is, as always, check the link below. Great review show, and uh, yeah, definitely check them out. Anyway, so we did this video on. It was like an older episode because it's a public access television show, so it's one I think they uploaded from a few years ago. And uh, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was uh, really ent entertaining and, and funny. It was a live show, so um, they, they took a lot of uh, calls and um, thought the calls added something to the show. I think doing that every now and then is a great idea. Um, so the idea of it was why we hate Julia Roberts. It was pick, you have to pick a great, you have to pick something uh, or someone that you, you uh, within Hollywood that you have a problem with. And <clears throat> some people were mentioned, like, um, I think Jeff mentioned um, Kevin Spacey, who, you know, I don't have a problem with, really, to be honest. I think he's a decent enough actor. I think, he, yeah, I agree that stuff's maybe not as great now as it was a long time ago, but I, I, I think... Um, I don't really have a don't really have a problem with him to be honest. Uh, Matt Damon was mentioned. Um, I like Matt Damon. I'm with Eric on that. I I, I like the uh, Bourne films. Um, I think I think they're they're excellent. And um, a caller mentioned Chris Tucker, which is controversial. I think Edwin likes him, but Mike was like, no, you can't like Chris Tucker. Um, I actually think Chris Tucker. I think the problem with Russia is that, you know, he was trying to play Eddie Murphy from Beverly Hills Cop, and I think that was the problem with it. But you know, I think he's entertaining in the first two Russia films, and um, yeah, he's all right. I don't, not a massive fan, but you know, I think he's okay. But the one I was surprised at is when you were talking about, uh, you guys were talking about Richard Pryor, and, and um, <clears throat> you know, for me, you know, I think you were talking about that Richard Pryor never really made a cla a classic film. And there were a few mentioned that I, I, I'll need to check out, but you briefly mentioned Star Crazy, and I think Star Crazy is a classic comedy film. Um, I think uh, Edwin mentioned Silver Streak. The problem with Silver Streak for me, while it is another film that he did with Richard Pryor did with Gene Wilder, is that it's very much feels like Richard Pryor's been shoehorned into the film. He's not quite like. He's definitely a supporting character, whereas like in Star Crazy, it's like Gene Wilder and, and Richard Pryor are like equals. And um, yeah, I love Star Crazy, I think it's brilliant. And I agree, um, I do agree though with what Eric said about uh, the best stuff that Richard Pryor did was his live shows because um, they were uh, absolutely brilliant. In fact, I think the best stand-up performances I've ever seen. Anyway. Um, what else did you guys you guys mention? Um, there was quite a few, wasn't there? There was quite a few. I've just watched it as well, and I've just drawn a blank. Terrible, getting old and all that, you know. Um, I can talk about my gripe. My gripe is would have to be against George Lucas. Um, I know it's an easy target. It's like I think Uwe Ball was mentioned, but she's an easy target. But I don't mind Uwe Ball either. You know, I think he's. Uh, quite funny actually and entertaining to watch as a person um, George Lucas for me just you know it. there's, there's a video you can watch it on YouTube but it's on the uh, Indiana Jones 4 DVD and it's Steven Spielberg talking about making the film and you just really get the feeling that Steven Spielberg wanted to make an Indiana Jones film but didn't want to do it like that and it and it's like as if George Lucas just took on far too big an influential role in that film, far bigger than he did on the previous three. And I think that's probably because he get used to doing the Star Wars prequels. But you know, he's taken two of the best franchises out there away from what they were. The Star Wars prequels are a mess. You know, um, I don't think they're quite as terrible as people make out, you know, and I, I, I have a soft spot for the third one, Revenge of the Sith, but he, like, the CG thing, 
you know, he seems to think CG is like the be all and end all of everything, even though he's quoted the same if you don't have a story, CG is nothing, but, you know, stylistically, I would have loved it if he'd shot Star Wars the way that the original trilogy were shot, um, and have a visual continuity, there's no visual continuity really, um, and, you know, he just, he's, he's done stuff like, you know, the, the stuff that he's altered with, start, with the original trilogy as well, you know, you know, I know they finally released the theatrical versions on DVD, but all that stuff with Greedo and, oh, the stuff that he altered was just like, why? Why? It was fine. Just leave it, you know, just leave the film alone, you know, and, um, uh, and Indiana Jones, just as much as I... I still make the argument that I think Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skulls is a decent enough act, uh, adventure film on its own. But if you judge it as an Indiana Jones film, it just falls far, far, far the mark. And it it does feel like that was down to George Lucas. So that would be my main gripe, I think. And Michael Bay as well. Uh, yeah, watch Transformers 2 and I've uh, never been so offended uh, <laughs> by a film before. Um, can't really think of any other grapes that I've got. I'm sure I've got loads in, but um, I'm recovering from a cold, so I'm not thinking straight. But yeah, another great show. Really enjoyed it. Very funny. I like the stuff that you did in between and uh, uh, the, the the pictures of people and all that. It was uh, quite quite amusing. Anyway, so great show as always, and keep up the good work. And that's all. Bye.